What is going on everyone? It is Tiff Twinkle back here with another video for you today. I'm trying out something different today. So, I've, um, so for most of you that don't know, I also do, um, uh, I've, if you've noticed, I've started uploading like, uh, shorts, Instagram reels and that. Um, and that's because I do TikTok, uh, as one of my other socials. I do some fun, creative things over there. Um, or I just do some, like literally pick up my phone, set up my camera, and I start filming just random TikToks. A couple of them went viral. One of my biggest ones was the uh, the one where I'm getting dressed in a in my uh, my May dress. For some bizarre reason, that took off really quick. I don't know why, but my immense love for for everyone that gave that a like or or a share or whatever the case may be. My I love you all who commented and still support that video to this day means a lot but um i've started doing like tiktoks over there like every now and then one of the users that actually suggested this because this is the whole basis of it is that this user suggested it to me and i i sort of like looked at it and i went okay look i can actually do this and you know i can stagger i can stagger it because i'll be honest i have so much stuff to talk about and i can't fit that in one video so it's better i break it up but um they asked pretty much where i buy my stuff from like what, um, what I buy, where I buy it sort of thing. So, uh, Uno, Uno.py on TikTok, you are the inspiration for this whole entire series, which I don't even know how many episodes I'm going to be able to film. I've just got so much stuff. Um, so it's going to be a very <laughs> interesting one. So I hope you should... I hope you forgive me for that. It's going to be across like multiple weeks and all that sort of stuff, but I do have a lot of stuff. So kind of brings me to the first part. I figured I'm going to talk about one of my most well-known brands that I have bought. They actually are, they actually are like, they follow me on like TikTok, Instagram and that, which again, I'm amazed that they do. Thank you so much um, for following, but we're going to talk about Irregular Choice. Now, for those that don't know, Irregular Choice are a shoe company was created by Dan Sullivan. Pretty much has created some of the most insane pieces that you could ever, that you could ever see on the planet. Like, I'm talking like, I've seen people wear like, unicorn shaped, like, unicorn shaped heels. Like, they, they actually have a unicorn on the back of them and they just walk around with it as if everything is normal and it's it's one of the reasons why i fell in love with the brand they've done so many things that i've loved as a company and not only that this is part of the reason why i went on the hunt as we'll call it because i saw a photo uh i'm just gonna i'm gonna post up a a thing of it here but pretty much there was this person that i follow amber arden on instagram and tiktok and that um pretty much i followed Amber Arden after seeing this photo, but it was a photo of her in a in a Ravenclaw outfit, like complete with like dress, a really cute cardigan, beret, and then these shoes. And I just went to myself, that is like a dream goal because I'm a Ravenclaw, and I love to. I've done like my fa my favorite like look of Ravenclaw with with my black knot dress and some uh, shoes to to match it. So I've pretty much I pretty much wanted the shoes in the photo which were they were called the stars at night heel from a regular choice they were such a gorgeous shoe and they fit the ravenclaw theme so well like we're talking like down to a t it's like one of the one of the most perfect pairs of shoes you you can actually get for a look like and Honestly, um, I'm just gonna pop up an image, but like I've got the I've got the image up on my phone and Pretty much she wore she wore this outfit. She looked incredible So I went on the hunt and I was like I'm gonna keep an eye out and see if I ever get them and I found them and then this started me on a spiral down the rabbit hole so But funnily enough my dream pair of heels wasn't even the first pair that I bought so, hang on. I have so many pairs, so I'm bringing them, I'm bringing one from each over. Because I love these shoes. I, 
I actually w wear a couple of these. So one of them, so my first pair that I bought was actually this cute, gorgeous, simple uh, nick of time in white. I actually wore these for a pinup photo shoot that I did with the photo studio. I don't know if anyone actually saw that video, but a couple of years ago, I did a photo shoot with a company. Such a good experience. And I wore these with my uh, yellow pinup dress. Um, so gorgeous. Such a good, such a good um, time. But pretty much that's what started me. I saw these on, on Facebook for like, it was like, I think it was like 90 bucks or something. It was a long time ago. I went to the city and I got them and I pretty much went down the rabbit hole. So when I heard that in 20, in 2018 or something, I think it was that they said that there's a Melbourne shop now. I went, oh dear. I'm going, I'm not going to have a good time, am I? But in 2019, uh, I went to PAX. I vlogged for the entire week. There was a day that we had uh, left over to go and explore. So I did, I went to the city. I was happy in Melbourne um, because a, st a spontaneous part, I found the actual dream pair of heels for my Ravenclaw looks. And you can see why I wanted them in the first place. They were just so, they were just so great. And the, 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 the people in, in the shop, by the way, you are fantastic. I also have another pair of shoes that I just realized. They're actually my guy pair of shoes that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis now. Um, but they're in, they're in the other room and I completely forgot about it. But they are one of the game over um, pairs of uh, boots. So I bought them and I wear them occasionally time to time. Or actually, no, I've worn them a lot recently. So, but no. Literally, it spiraled me down this whole, like, I bought another pair of Nick and Times that have this beautiful purple, like, bluish uh, hue with this glitter back here, which I, I really love. It's a stunning shoe. I think I've worn this with, like, a couple of my, um, a couple of my black milk dresses. Um, they've done, like, collabs as well. They've done, uh, the Little Mermaid, uh, Disney Princess series. They've also done the, uh, Sanrio collab with little twin star so i've got these for my pastel -y looks which i should have worn the other day when i went out to the neko to the hello kitty uh exhibit but it's fine um <laughs> it's fine <laughs> but yeah no this company is honestly like one of the reasons why i love buying from it is they're just so unique because you could look at them and you instantly know like you don't have to like, it's just an instant irregular choice. I've seen that, like, so many times. And that's why I love it. I've, I've worn some of these shoes out, and they look and they just go, what, what, where did you get them from? And I, I, I tell them, I show them Instagram, I show them, like, where I get them from, and it's just such a, it's such a time. Honestly, I think out of all of the pairs that I have, obviously my Ravenclaw, like Stars at Night heels, is my like first pick. Tied for second is uh, Little Twin Stars and uh, Little Mermaid. So these two, and then last but not least, in third place, like a tied, um, are the Nick and Times. Highly recommend it if you can afford it as well. They are not cheap because craftsmanship work goes into these so they are extremely worth it but just be warned they will cost you in the long run i know that a friend of mine a very good friend of mine constantly wants to steal some of these not gonna happen so but yes i just wanted to start this video with like i'm just trying to keep it short and sweet so i hope you all enjoy this uh first start to this series uh i really hope that you enjoy like the journey that we're about to go on because this is just one of the companies i buy from i've got tons on my shelves here i've also got tons in my drawers and that so be warned everyone <laughs> but no seriously thank you all so much for watching this uh this video i hope to see you all on the next one i'm probably just going to throw a little montage at the end here of like some of my shoes from like previous clips and that so i hope you all enjoy so have a good one okay bye everyone
Thank you.